In Canada, we don't have many patients who had a lumbar fusion to treat low back pain. Most of my patients with lumbar fusion come from the States. Lumbar fusion is a type of surgery that removes the disc between two or more vertebra and fuse the bones. So there is no more movement between this vertebra. Or another way to fuse is to use plates and screws and fixate the bones. The thinking behind this is that if the bones don't move anymore, there will be no pain. In some cases, fusion is necessary because the surgeon removed parts of the vertebra to alleviate a disc herniation, a spinal stenosis or a tumor. The removal of bone causes instability, so the surgeon must fuse the bones. After lumbar fusion, the person loses the ability to move that segment of their spine. When they come to me, they want to know what kind of exercises they can do after a lumbar fusion. So, let's talk about workouts after a lumbar fusion. First, it's important to get clearance from their surgeon if they can start doing exercises. Usually the first six months after the lumbar fusion surgery, the only exercise the person can do is walking. And they should walk three to five times a day as long as they want. During this period, they should not twist, bend their trunk or lift heavy weights. But after six months, the bones are permanently fused and the person is allowed to start building muscles and stretching. So, what kind of exercises are recommended? Swimming, biking, walking and elliptical are excellent. These are cardio and strengthening exercises. They should practice them every day and for the rest of their lives. They can also do Pilates and yoga. They should build the core muscles around their spine. That includes the quadratus lumborum, the paraspinal muscles, the abdominals, the gluteus, and stretch the IT bands and the hamstrings and quadriceps. Now, what happens if the person does not do these exercises after a lumbar fusion? Before I continue, please remember that this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace medical advice. And if you had a lumbar fusion or is thinking of having one, please talk to your doctor. If there is an emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. Well, that is the main problem. The person may think that the fusion will take care of their pain and they become sedentary, deconditioned and gain weight. This is really harmful to their bones, muscles, but also to the pain system. They can develop central sensitization, which is abnormal transmission of the pain signals in the neural pathways. If this happens, the volume of pain can be increased and instead of feeling a tiny little pain, they feel a huge excruciating pain. That is because central sensitization amplifies the pain intensity in our brain. I have another video about central sensitization. So, exercises are crucial to good results from lumbar fusion. But you may be thinking, I had surgery because I had pain and I never exercised before and I hate exercising. I thought I would be free from doing exercises and now you're telling me that I will have to do exercises and exercise intensely every day for the rest of my life? Yes, that's what the surgeons will tell you. So, my suggestion to use this. Why don't you exercise intensively before you have lumbar fusion? Why don't you give it a try? Do everything as if you had had a lumbar fusion. I know a lot of people who have done this and they end up feeling so much better that they canceled the surgery. This is called prehabilitation. 
or prehab. There is evidence from scientific studies that doing exercise prior to surgery for cancer improves the results of the cancer surgery. If you work hard and exercise every day, you will also be retraining your pain system, reducing central sensitization, reducing chronic inflammation, improving your mood, sleeping better, and improving your self-esteem. You will have to do exercises anyways after the lumbar fusion, so why not to do them before the surgery? Did you know that if you decide to have lumbar fusion, the joints below and above the lumbar fusion will have to work hard to compensate for the lack of movement of the fused bones. And they may develop pain and arthritis, and then you may need surgery on the levels below and above. That is why a lot of people have one, two, three, four, multiple spine surgeries to treat lumbar pain. We call this failed back surgery syndrome. Failed because the person continues having pain or worsening pain after back surgery. Well, leave your comments below and send this video to someone who is thinking of having a lumbar fusion and maybe they can start prehab and improve their symptoms. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.